hello hello i'm sitting down to do some planning this morning and i thought that you guys might like to enjoy coming along for the ride with me um so we'll just keep it casual today as per usual so far um i've been using my chic sparrow um oh, trying to remember what it is it's tea house um i think that's what it's called i'll link it below anyway um she's a bit loved <laughs> And I like it like that way. I have, um, I don't know if you can see, there we go, uh, Glorify embossed on there. Um, it's hard to see, but I really like knowing that it's there. Um, so yeah, I've been using that this week uh, for both my planner and my journal, um, which I, yeah, sometimes when I'm just trying to keep everything simple, I keep it all in one place, and this is how I like to do it got my washi cards in which I think I've shown you before yeah all right so now for this week I'm going to go back um, I'm filming today Saturday the 26th I'm just going to go through and um, fill out some changes and put in some stickers and photos from this last week and then I'll go ahead and do the coming week we had a bit of a funny week this week where just everything was cancelled um, the boys woke up with a bit of a sniffle on Monday and so we had to go and get COVID tested so of course school was cancelled um, so I've got a photo of us all going to the clinic that I'm going to put in that day um, I'm going to put in this little um, so that's a photo of us going to the clinic our masks on we managed to get in and out really quick we got there right at the start it was amazingly fast They're brilliant these days um, and then this is a memory that came up I don't know if you can see it on my google home and it's just comparing my boys when they were super tiny and we went to the snow with our camping trip that was just last holidays I just loved that comparison so I took a photo of the actual screen um, probably a weird thing to do but whatever <laughs> so I'm going to put that over our jiu-jitsu class that we didn't make it to because of self-isolating until the negative came through, which it did. We are COVID negative. Oh, come on. Mm. Still had to prepare dinner. Um... So yeah, the um, the result didn't didn't come in. Well, I actually came in really quickly this time, but um yeah, in the day that we were home, I spent a lot of the day just sitting around. The boys weren't really up to much because they did have a cold, um, and so I sat with my cat for a lot of it. And any time that I would move, she'd steal my spot within two seconds. You know, cats. What, what can you say? Um, but she'd move over when I came back. <laughs> so, I thought it was really really cute we didn't go to music that day either even though we don't have covid it's still good to not share the cold germs around because anyone who gets cold symptoms has to get tested so yeah I'm trying to share that love um we did not go to jujitsu this day we didn't go to swimming i wonder if i can he would have peel it off in the past. It looks like it's pretty well stuck down that one. Hmm. I will just say that this one was cancelled. All of that was cancelled. switched my appointments to online. I'm so lucky that I can do that. Um, just because I wasn't sure how long it was going to take. Um, on Thursday, I did make it outdoors for a little while. I was, the boys were back at school, they were doing better. I took this beautiful photo by the coast. So pretty, it was so pretty. 
if you happened to hear my video last week, you will know that my son has been very, very keen on doing the laundry. Um, and he's still doing it. There's a load in there at the moment. Um, it's working well. So thank you, Fortnite, for motivating him to earn money for battle passes. He is absolutely doing me a favor there. <laughs> um, we did make it to school. Um, on Friday. I was actually early, but I'm using this little late sticker because I had not been at school on Monday and Tuesday. And so I was just trying to catch up with so many people and have so many meetings that I felt like I was just perpetually late for every single person. But I think I was only late for two and they were very, very kind and gracious. Um, it is the end of the term, hooray. Just gonna put in this little Sakura Mochi champagne bottle to celebrate um, and I have a little coffee monster doodle of crime shows because that's my go-to um, I love more cozy mystery style so I've just rediscovered um, there's this really old British show called Rosemary and Time and it's I don't know if you've seen it anyway it's super cute it's just really easy to watch you don't really have to sort of think too much about anything it's great <laughs> Hey, is there anything else I had to put in? I still have to do those. I always prioritize my planning over the actual doing of the things, which helps me to understand exactly what I have laid out. Um, I did also, speaking of, as I did last time, adding things in that I've already done, I have booked in for my COVID vaccinations. I am super excited for that. sampler from Raz, Raz Barrel Designs um, and it's got a little, it's so pale, it's got a little like doctor's bag with two dates which I just think is perfect for those two doses. I don't know if that's what they intended but um, that is exactly what I'm going to use it for. So my first date was the 8th of the 8th, 21, and my second one is going to be on the 5th of September, 21, keeping in mind we're in Australia and we write the dates day, month, year, instead of month, day, year, I think you guys do in the US. Um, so yeah, hopefully. That all goes really smoothly. My mum has had her first dose um, and didn't feel very well for a couple of days, but um, you know, I've heard that that means that hopefully the second dose will be quite smooth and easy. So yeah, all right. I'm gonna jump ahead to the coming week. I um, will review June and plan July um, in the coming week. I'm on holiday so I can play in my planner a little bit more which will be super fun um so I will do that um closer to the time and plan out July as well I've just got a box around the school holidays um and yeah so that's just a general reminder so that I can keep in mind that as I'm planning out other things now I did I will probably slot in um a video here I got super excited when <laughs> The Rust Barrel Designs kit came and I wanted to see how it fit and so I went ahead and I did this like weeks in advance but um, I didn't really know exactly what was happening this week so it was hard to put anything else specific in so I will pop that snippet in the middle um, and then come back and do the rest. I'm using a Rust Barrel Designs uh, kit specifically for the Wonderland in the B6. Um, I haven't used this one before, so um, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. I love nautical theme anything, so this one really caught my eye, um, and I'm really keen to use it. I will be planning for the very first week of, what is the school holidays here in Australia? 
Um, so I am probably not going to have a lot of things to put in, which is really exciting at this stage. I'm hoping to have actually just some time off. So we will see how that goes. Um, so yes, I will be doing this first full week of July or first week of July. This page. <laughs>
so for this week let's see I have these from Mandy Lynn Mandy Lynn plans and um they've got the right dates for this week it's just too perfect to pass up so I'm actually going to go and put it over top of where I hand wrote This is a Mandy Lynn's, Mandy Lynn plans, um, sticky kit as well. Um, I am covering up the Independence Day because I know it's a hugely exciting holiday in the US, but um, for us, we don't tend to, um, we're aware of it and it's awesome that you guys have a beautiful day, but it's not a huge big deal for us um, since it's your Independence Day. Um, let's see, I do you want to make a note of the fact that I'm on welcoming that day? Provided that we actually get to meet, we have had a, an increase in cases here in New South Wales, which means um, we've had a few extra restrictions this last week. Um, hopefully we can get a hold of that. Let's just write that in. So yes, I would imagine that at the moment our restrictions are in place until the 1st, um, but I would imagine that if that continues then we may well end up doing church online again. Um, we're so lucky that we live in a, a time where we can, yeah, just do that. Alright. We may still have jujitsu as well. Um, they've got some really good setups for um, social distancing and in the school. That's great. So I might pop that in. This kit's so cute. It fits so beautifully. Uh, we usually go on Mondays and Wednesdays, although we could actually go any day. And that starts at 4.45. The boys did their grading last week and got a new stripe on their belt. And they've been doing so well. They only started uh, term four last year. A bit of fluff on that. We did have a whole list of things that we wanted to do in the school holidays. Um, so I, I usually sit down with the boys um, and just ask them what they would like to do, who do they want to catch up with, um, and then I try and keep that in mind as I plan out the holidays, um, just to make sure that we don't miss anything that they might really like to do. 
There's a few things which could be really tricky, like we had wanted to go to the Maritime Museum in Sydney, but currently they're closed and they've refunded a lot of tickets. Um, but they do have a lot of things online, so I do wonder if that might be possible. Um, uh, my hubby um, is working away at the moment. He's back on weekends, so he's um, home today, which is lovely. Um, yeah, we'd thought about maybe going out to visit him, but you know, if there's a lot of restrictions on who's moving around, that would not be considered to be essential. So we may not be doing that. We can still plan our book week costume. We can still go for bushwalks and things. Um, and there's a few friends to catch up with. So um, generally we are so lucky here. So even without restrictions, as long as we're outdoors and socially distanced um, appropriately, then it's generally okay. Um, yeah, it's just about being, being sensible, and being wise. Um, so I might actually just sort of keep that on this page. I'll pop it in afterwards, um, just as a general working post-it note. Um, I have written out the weather in order to put my stickers in, but it fit really well. And I actually <laughs> really liked my little, um, my random little doodles. I'm not particularly good at doodles <laughs> at all, um, but I'm quite happy with those. So I'm actually just, gonna stick that straight in um, just down down on the corner I think for now um, that tells me the weather for the week um, which will probably be helpful with my uh, larger post-it note um, so for these it'll be a bit of a work in, working planner this week um, there's not loads to plan because we're on holidays and we're going to be a little bit more going with the flow um, so maybe if I do film a couple of snippets along the way I'll do a bit of a, a montage of those towards the end um, just as I do bits and pieces or I might just do a flip through at the end of the week um, so you can see the difference yeah so that's pretty much it for this week um, thank you so much for um, sitting with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.